How do you folks? Uh, Bones here. I just wanted to show you something that I've been uh, working on the past couple of days. It occurred to me a while ago that if I cut a shape out of brass sheet and engrave the same design in some aluminium, I might be able to inlay it. And uh, lo and behold, I have. So this brass is 0.2 mil thick. And as you can see there, I've laser cut that design out on well I've used this uh, I've used this fixture here and uh, this takes the heat out of the, the cut but also holds it dead flat as well so it slides in there I think I've shown this before so first I cut that out and I got my uh, Spitfire shape and it's so accurate these laser machines look you can even see the tiny tiny guns I've got no idea what the, that size is but they're absolutely tiny so the whole the whole design is um, 26 mil wingspan 26 mil wingspan on that so after I've cut my design out in brass I then did exactly the same size in aluminium but this time engraved it so you have to sort of keep your eye on this, how deep it has to go. If you go too deep, obviously, you're going to be working the aluminium back a bit. If you're a bit too high, then the brass is going to be proud. And obviously, again, it'll take a bit more work to get flat. But if you get it just right, you'll have minimal work. So once that has been engraved, it's a simple matter of placing your cutout design on the aluminium. And I've got a small half sun press with a uh, two flat features on it and it just pressed in there nicely just once it was lined up so I was so excited that that worked I decided to see if uh, lettering would work as well and uh, lo and behold it did so we've got the uh, Spitfire word there and I tried my uh, nickname there that was cut out of the same brass and those pieces at the edge of the T's the F the small pieces they're really tiny again I'm not really sure what size size it would be but look they're absolutely minute couple of mil couple of mil by I don't know three mil maybe if that so I engraved out the Spitfire wording again and again press them in once they're pressed in all you have to do then is get a sanding block and just dress back until they're flat so this is a first practice and it's come out really well but as you can see this S has been pressed in at a slight angle so I think it's not quite you know 100 percent in in there and what's happened is as i've brushed it back the dirt's got in there that's why you can see that line there but uh i think the others are pretty good even the smaller smaller pieces maybe that t there is a little bit off center that that section of that t same with the o that's quite difficult because it's only very slightly off circle it's difficult to line it up properly so i've got the got sort of a black line around there where the sand where I've sanded it the dirt's gone in there but uh, practice makes perfect so yeah if you guys make anything fancy or practice on something just for a bit of fun that certainly does work and it has for me so give it a go might be able to achieve some uh, really nice bits of work intricate work different shapes and patterns that you can get so hope you found that interesting cheers folks see ya